Hey, online Excel team. We want to try something different today at the Excel is Fun channel. We want to try out the Community tab. Now, I posted a question here, and we'll actually go over to Excel in a second and look at some examples for this question. I also posted a survey. Which version of Office do you have, and are you using the dynamic arrays? Now, this is easy enough to use. I'm going to select this version right here and check this out. You can vote, and you can leave a comment. Now, I want to jump over to Excel and look at these discussion questions. I'm curious. Here we have a data set, and we have spilled arrays. Has anyone tried to get these spilled arrays into a chart? Well, I made a chart from there. But if I come down and change MB to Sunshine, well, this expands, but we can see that the chart is not seeing that. It's not getting that last spilled row. I also went ahead, right click, select data. I tried to edit this and put the pound symbol, hoping that the chart engine would recognize that spilled array syntax. But when I click OK, I get this error. I tried a bunch of different variations, but that didn't work. And then, of course, I said, well, forget that. I'm going to go old school and create a dynamic range formula, Control F3. And then I put them into defined names. And when I tried to put those defined names into the chart, it did not work. So I'm curious, have you tried this? Do we have a solution yet? Also, another thing in Excel Magic Trick 1520, we created this dynamic cross-tabulated report. And a lot of you in the comments wanted to append or attach totals to this cross-tabulated report. Now, I tried a few crazy things, but I couldn't figure out what to do. So the question is, have you tried this? Do you have a solution? If not, should we post in Microsoft's user form and ask for a function that will allow us to have totals in a dynamic cross-tabulated spilled report? The last question is, I played around with some big data. There's a million rows here. And if I change this input, as soon as I hit Enter, it doesn't take very long to update. If I change the column input to products, look at that, less than a second. So I'm wondering what you have tried or what you think about the spilled arrays with big data. All right, so go check out the Community tab. We've tried some things at YouTube in the past. Some work, some don't. I suspect that the survey is going to be pretty cool, but I'm wondering if discussions over here will be useful, fun, and interesting. All right, we'll see you next video.